Hey planners, it's Tay of Shantae Plans and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, I have a haul to share with you. So let's go ahead and take a look at what I've added to my collection recently. Okay, so I am filming this video for the second time because the first time I filmed it, it was very, very hot that day and I had my fan on and I went to, I'd already filmed it, put away my stickers. I went to edit my video and realized my fan was so obnoxiously loud in the background, I couldn't even finish editing it. So I am filming this all for the second time, which sucks because there were definitely some things in this haul that kind of surprised me the first time. And it's something I've come to really enjoy doing is like I'll get, um, get my stickers in, stick them in a drawer, and then I open them up and share them in my haul. Um, and so I'm kind of seeing them for the first time as I'm sharing it with you guys in my haul. That's typically how I have come to like to do it. Uh, but in this case, I've already seen most of what's in this haul. I did get a couple of things in today. So there will be a, like, I had like two orders come in today um, that are new to this haul. Everything else I've already seen before. So let's get started with these albums. These albums are from Simply Beautiful Plants, and these are her 4x6 size albums. I had them customized, so on the spine it says Deco on this one, and on this one it says Icons, which is so helpful because it lets me know immediately as I'm reaching for the album what's inside of it. Um, but what I was trying to do actually was to get some 4x6 size albums because I've been ordering more Deco and Icon stickers, which typically come on quarter size sheets. But I had actually just ordered some sticker albums from Sadie Stickers, who sizes her albums small, medium, and large. And for the medium album for Sadie's, her medium is the 4x6 size. For Simply Beautiful Plans, this is her medium size. And so <laughs> this was a fun little life lesson on the importance of reading the description when you're shopping. <laughs> for your planner stuff so um but this actually worked out really well for me because I haven't had any albums in this size that have been labeled none of my other albums are and so I went through and kind of reorganized my my sticker albums because because I don't have quite a few and so I was able to really break down break them down into different categories and use each one of the albums for something different which was fantastic so I uh, definitely switched up my larger sticker storage which is wonderful so it's great for any of my larger size sheets or sheets that are a little too wide or because um, this one's got like good height but it's too wide for the four by six album so um it's been really nice actually having this, these sized albums and didn't realize how great that was. But I did also, as soon as I got this order and realized what I'd done, ordered some more in the 4x6 size. So I'll have more of these albums coming so that I can organize all the new stickers that I've got in the smaller quarter size sheets. But I love the cover of this. The design is so beautiful and she's got lots of other different designs in her shop. But I thought this one, I loved the Be The Reason Someone Smiles Today. Definitely something I think we should all aspire to. And you do get to pick your foil cover. I picked rose gold because uh, I just love rose gold, but you could pick whatever foil color you want of the classic three, I believe, uh, gold, silver, or rose gold foil. This shop is Netty Designs and this is a $2 Tuesday order and then this is an order that actually just came in today. So everything in this stack is new to me and I haven't gone through yet. Uh, so let's take a look at the freebies because the freebies that came with this order are already put away. Um, but um, these freebies, we have this summer themed freebie in hollow foil and this is Dream Big Little Mermaid. So cute. On um, this one, we've got some uh, layering swatches, a little lipstick and a pen. Um, this one, this is in rose gold foil, and this is Coffee Monday Clean, and we've got a July monthly script. That's cute. And then on this one, we've got some more scripts. We've got Me Time, Date Night, Happy Mail, Paint Nail, Sleep In, and Day Off. That's fantastic. All of those scripts are just so useful and definitely things that I mark in my planner all the time, and it's in gold foil, so definitely a very functional freebie. And these were from a $2 Tuesday sale that she was having and it was such a fantastic sale because she had all these different types and styles of dividers, which you guys know I love using dividers in my spreads. And so I saw these absolutely fell in love with the shape and what's really interesting is that like so this is how it's oriented and it's got sort of a slight curve to this divider and actually I, I prefer it this way which is basically like upside down I really like the shape of it like this and I think the way it um, kind of arches upward just slightly I like a little bit more even than it dipping down but I guess it would depend on what I'm layering it next to in my spread um, I just think it looks so cute I'm so excited and cannot wait to use these 
This divider was not part of her $2 Tuesday actually and this one you guys may recognize from some of my previous spreads. I did a lot of gold spreads in June and so I was going through these dividers really quickly. I still have more of my silver and rose gold but I needed to restock on gold which is why I only picked up one sheet of these. As you can see, this sheet is missing a sticker and that is because it's already on my spread for this week. So in love with this divider. I love the sort of just sort of classic shape here, but then she added this little for extra flourish detail on layered on top of it, which just really makes it stand out and made it so unique and different for me. And again, I picked them up in all three of the classic foils. She uses premium matte paper. It's buttery smooth. Her foiling is even and just absolutely gorgeous. And then, so those were the ones on premium matte paper. And then she also had some flourishes that were on clear paper. And I wanted to pick these up. My preference is definitely um, premium matte because I like having the white paper as a background. When I'm layering stickers, it makes it easy for them to really kind of stand out on the page. But I also wanted to give myself the option of having clear stickers just in case, depending on how I wanted to use it in the spread. And so these ones, I don't even know where to start to describe like the the shapes of these flourishes i love every single one of them i couldn't pick a favorite if i tried it's just so gorgeous and i can't maybe this no i'm not gonna do it i'm not gonna do it i'm gonna try because i'll try to pick a favorite and then i'll be i'll be here forever just trying to pick out which one is my favorite but i love these flourishes i think they're so amazing and i can't wait to work these into some spreads because um i don't have a lot of options on clear paper so this is really exciting for me I um, placed this order with my notes page in mind and so I'm trying to remember what it is I ordered. I, I know that oh okay let's start with the script stickers. So on um, my notes page for my planner let me pull it out. So this is my notes page in my planner and I like to have a section where I mark out goals the kits that I'm using for that month, I'll track birthdays. And then down in this section, I'll track my social media stats um, and things like that. So I wanted to have different um, script stickers to label out my different sections. So I'm planning on filming a plan with me on uh, my notes page once the deco stickers that I ordered for that specifically for that page come in I will be uploading that plan with me for you guys but I wanted to get some script stickers so that um, I could mark out my different sections so I picked up um, some custom scripts in um, this is her font B and I got the word goals of course because I've tracked my goals for the month and then social media for the social media section of that page and so these came out so cute. I love this. Her foiling is always so great. And again, super smooth premium matte paper. I got them in the three classic foil. Oh my God, look at the font for kits. I can't even, I love this so much. So uh, this is so that I can keep track of the kits that I'm using for that month. And I love this so much because I like my handwriting, but honestly, I could not write it this cute. This is adorable. Oh so obsessed with that and then I also just picked up some other things these are some cute little sticky notes and I love these because it gives me a fun little square shape and I can't remember what spread I was doing when I just remember thinking I wanted a different shape I wanted something that wasn't rectangle I wanted it square and I wanted it super neutral where it was just white paper with the foil so that I could have um, so I could layer whatever I wanted on top of it to sort of accent it but I just wanted I knew I just wanted a different shape in my planner and I saw these when I was um, shopping for the other items in this order and I was like that's perfect I really love the shape of these and then again with my notes page in mind I picked up the months that she does for the second half of the year I already had January through June so I needed July through December and I got these in gold silver and rose gold foil and that's going to be perfect for my notes page you can also use these on monthly pages and so like when she does her monthly kits they don't have the month on them so you can like buy her monthly kits have these scripts and then whatever month you want to use her monthly script you would just pull off the month um, sticker that you want and apply it to that kit um, which worked out for me even though I'm not using it on a monthly kit I'm able to use it on my notes page because it's a really great size it's a lot bigger than the um, monthly scripts that I used on my weekly spreads so this was fantastic 
This shop is Rose Colored Days, and these are the freebies that came with my order. First up, her business card, which has all of her information on this side and then on this side, which is really cute because you get to totally add this to a setup. Um, this It says, you are living your story, and I really love that because I, I feel like um, everybody's sort of living their life story, and we're documenting our life stories in our planners. This is just so perfect and appropriate. Um, this page we've got the standard freebie that comes in all of your orders and these are full box overlays. This is the freebie that you get when you enter Nikki's name in the notes to seller and Nikki is her PR girl. And this is gold but it's got like hollow stars on it. So cute. I love this freebie because everything on it is so functional. And then this um, freebie, this is the July monthly dashboard and this is in hollow foil. It almost looks silver but that's actually hollow uh, which is so cute. I actually have the June one in my setup uh, in my B6 planner and so it will be nice to swap that out for the July one because June is over. And then I had a very simple order um, with Rose Color Days. One of the things that works to my advantage is that she's in California and so am I. And so a lot of times when I'm thinking about just sort of um, very essential things that I just need and date dots are just one of those things I need every single week when I'm planning. And I was going through my date dots so quickly and definitely needed to restock on them. Hers are my favorite. I really just love the font and the shape. I like the squared off shape of them and everything. I picked them up. Uh, two of each color. Um, I already pulled out the gold because I've been using it um, and so that's why it's not in here with the rest of these but um, or why there's only one gold here at the moment but we've got the traditional gold, rose gold, silver and then light gold um, because those are the four foil colors that I tend to use the most. I don't think this camera's picking up these foil colors at all so sorry about that um, but um, I absolutely needed some more date dots and that was such a perfect order and I always know that I can count on rose color days to get to me quickly and even if you're not in California she ships so efficiently it's just wonderful this shop is Alyssa's craft shop and this is my very first order from this shop I love me some dividers and I picked up some really cute ones from this shop I cannot wait to use so I ordered the three classic foils and then I also got black with this shop and it was so funny because foil is just one of those things that just always excites me and so I see it and I'm just like yes give me all the foil but I'm so glad I picked up black with this order because sometimes depending on how I'm using um, a divider or a decorative element and depending on what's happening around it in my spread there may already be a lot of foil going on and sometimes breaking things up with black really helps emphasize the rest of the foil that's happening around it because you can have just too much concentrated in one area and it sort of just uh, begins to like cancel each other out uh, and so I'm really glad I picked these up in black as well because I feel like sometimes I don't always have enough black options uh, for what I'm working on in my spread so super excited that I did that, that with this order and at least I had that thought because a lot of times I don't I get I see the foil I get excited and that's immediately where I go for but I picked up of course silver rose gold and gold foil love this divider and it's so funny I actually just did this in um a spread recently where I just kind of used some leaves and flowers and sort of made this shape so I'm really a big fan of this particular shape as a divider and glad to have it already in one piece to easily pull off and put on the page so pretty this shape I love and this reminds me a lot of that Nettie Designs heart divider that I'm a big fan of because this is a lot thinner and so like compared to something like this which is going to be thicker and take up a bit more space on the page this is really nice to pin and gives me an option if I'm working with a little bit thinner space and sometimes you have those awkward white spaces that you just want to fill in with something to just sort of balance out your spread and I think this is going to give me a really fun option to do that love this divider this is kind of an interesting and different flora shape for me because I don't have anything else like this and I'm excited to pull this into some spreads because I thought the shape of this was just so unique and different from anything I've used yet and so I'm, I'm excited to try this one out. I want to see what this looks like on the page and try out some different layering things. I think it's got an interesting kind of space happening right here on this shape because I feel like there's just a really great layering opportunity with this with the shape of this particular divider so I'm excited about that. 
So as I was saying with my Netty Designs order earlier, I was thinking about some of the pages in my planner outside of my weekly spread, including my notes page and my monthly spreads. And that's where, I, where my head was at when I placed these orders. These were actually two separate orders that I placed from uh, Red Lyrics. And this is a shop that I've ordered from before, but I'd only ever ordered these fashion girls before. And I am beyond obsessed with these, you guys. And it's literally because of the clothes. I've always been really into fashion girls. I'm, even when I'm selecting kits, I always like the fashion girls and kits. I think they're fun and they're interesting. And, if, and one of the things that I like to do is I'll put my favorite full box on Thursdays. And generally when there's a fashion girl in the kit, that's the box that ends up on Thursdays because I like fashion girls. These ones I'm obsessed with because she puts them in the cutest freaking outfits. I don't even know what to say. I love that romper. I actually have a romper that's kind of similar to that, but just green, not striped. And then this cute little sundress, this girl, I love her purse. These are so adorable. So I picked up a bunch of these fashion girls and I had my um, notes pages and monthly spreads in mind because I think fashion girls are just a really fun accent to those pages. And I love all of the outfits these girls are wearing. They are so doggone stylish. I don't even know what to do with myself. I ordered this twice and actually this one I ordered with this order and didn't realize I already had already ordered it. And it was this outfit here. This is just so cute. And I, I like literally want to buy and own this. Although I can't wear midi length. I'm too short for it. <laughs> Anyways, that has nothing to do with my planner. Okay, focus, Shantae. I can't even. This is so cute because I love these. These will be really fun going into fall. I was definitely thinking about summer, but also transitioning into fall as I was picking out some of these cute little fashion girls. And then, of course, any page with this much pink on it has my attention immediately because pink is my favorite color. This is so stinking cute. And I totally have a sweater dress like that. And I just really need to get some animal print boots and just rock that look coming this fall because that is so super stylish. I love these so much and I literally could just sit and stare at these deco sheets all day just to look at what the girls are wearing because these outfits are just so cute um but so cannot wait to put those into some spreads I met someone on Instagram and we were talking about different decorative elements and I was talking about the sweet planner because I really love her florals and she was saying oh yeah have, have you seen the florals from red lyrics and I was like wait what because all I'd ever ordered from Red Lyrics before were the fashion girls. I never even noticed that she had deco stuff on her page, which shows you that I just was not paying attention. And I went back and went crazy, placed an order immediately. I was just like, I've, I've got to check out what her deco is like and what her florals were like, because this type of stuff really inspires me. It always makes me so excited when I see something that just gives me inspiration. And I'm just like, oh my God, I can't wait to put it on the page this so cute i love the bicycles on here this is the emma deco sheet and the colors are so perfect because i feel like this shade of pink it's like a very peachy pink and then the shade of blue is going to coordinate so nicely with so many different kits i feel like those are very common colors used these boxes definitely giving me kind of fall vibes but i love them so much these are the floral chic mini boxes and i feel like this on um my decos pages, like I was saying, um, where I label out the different sections, this would be really cute as like a little label and then I could put my script on top of it uh, to mark out what the different sections that I'm marking on my notes page are. These boho flower decos, I picked up two sheets of these. I am obsessed with these crate and floral stickers. So cute. And what I love about these, um, when I was doing my monthly spread, not, all, not every single day in my monthly spread has something interesting happening and what I loved about this was I was like you know what would be great if um if I have a day where I'm not really marking anything significant but I just want to decorate that box you could just totally put one of these crates in a box and it's instantly just like so like visually striking and decorative and it's just like done so really love those and it's definitely giving me fall vibes so i'm so looking forward to using those as we transition into the upcoming season um although we are in the thick of summer as proof by the fact that it is super hot right now <laughs> on this page this is the moonlight deco sheet and these are the florals that um caught my attention and, and made me go to the page i really love these types of floral elements and i love this with the bird so cute love the detail on this think this is going to be so fun for adding a decorative element 
I like adding deco, um, deco pieces like this to both my weekly spreads and monthly and notes pages. So this is just fantastic. Same here. This is the deco sheet called Magical Night. And I love these little owls. I think they're adorable. Look at him on his little wreath. So cute. I love all these different shapes and it just adds so much fun and it's really nice to layer these types of things onto different spreads. So really excited with this. And then these butterflies. You guys, I am such a big fan of these butterflies. I think they're so pretty. This one might be my favorite. So adorable. These flowers. Okay. When I saw them online, I thought they were cute. Looking at them in person, I'm not as in love with these as I am with the other things that I got. But it's like, okay, that's fine. <laughs> they're not all going to be perfect. But, or perfect for my style. Because these, they're super cute. It's just, mm, I, I'm on the fence about them. I don't know if it's really me. And so, and I'll, I'll see what happens when I start planning with them and see if it's something I end up pulling into spreads or it may be something that I'm just like, no, that was a misstep. We'll see what happens. This shop is planning like a pro and she actually recently did a revamp on her whole look and logo and everything about her shop. If you have not seen what's new in her shop, I definitely recommend checking it out. She's got some amazing things. And so I um, placed an order because I wanted to get some of her icons. And this, I was specifically wanting to place an order for her icons because I liked the fact that she had some really cute icons that were non-foiled. And I really love foiled icons and as you guys know I have a lot of icons that are um, just basically like those foiled icons on premium matte paper and that's fantastic because those are super cute but sometimes and I think I might have said this earlier depending on what I'm doing and especially a lot of times with icons when I'm layering them on top of um, layering icons that are already foiled um, where you have like those different shapes like hexagons or circles or page flags and things like that that are already foiled it's nice to have a non-foiled icon to layer on top of that because sometimes it can feel like a little bit too much foil happening all in one space it just depends and maybe I'm just being unnecessarily picky about that but that was my thought process and what made me absolutely want to pick up some non-foiled icons I've been feeling like that lately and doing some of my spreads she had the these adorable audible book icons and I was like yes so here for this these are so adorable I love these and I like the way she does her icons because you've got really great neutral colors that go with a lot of different spreads from this pink to gray to white and then of course the gray and pink repeated again so so easy to work into spreads and then this one with the, the little delivery boxes so perfect because right now pretty much everything is an online order and I'm always having something being delivered so marking that in my planner is definitely become a thing look at these telephones I mean I don't have a landline and I don't have a phone that looks like this and so most of my phone stickers are like cell phone looking stickers but this is so adorable to me I love the old-fashioned telephone and I'm really just I'm like I can't wait to mark a phone call in my planner because I just want to pull out one of these cute little old-school telephones I love the design of this and just think it's so fun and then I also picked up some of these laptops. I'm always marking something for work. And so this is just a must. I go through laptop stickers pretty frequently. So I'm definitely glad that I picked up some of these. And then I picked up some of her date dots. Date dots are, are kind of a running theme in this haul. There's going to be another set. So um, I was going through them and needed to restock on essentials. And these I thought were super adorable because they have the little bow detail to them. So I got these in gold, silver, and rose gold foil. So fantastic. And I just love them. I think they're super adorable. And I, you cannot, I think I'm stocked on date dots all the way to the rest of the year, just based off of this one haul. Because I, and I think it was one of those things where like, you know how sometimes you'll be um, planning and realize there's a thing that you need. And so you try to keep it in mind when you're placing your next order. And I think I had that thought in my head and it stayed in my head even though I had placed an order and then I placed another order and it was still in my head and I was like, oh, you need date dots. Yeah. Now I got enough date dots to get me through the rest of the year and probably into next year. So I'm stopped. Um, and then Shimmy was so kind and um, gifted me these two kits for my birthday which was just beyond nice. Thank you so much, Shini. I, I have no words. You are the sweetest. This one in particular, I was over the moon as soon as I saw it because 
when I saw her post this kit on Instagram, I was so sad that I was already done with my um, summer kit shopping because I was like, God, I really want to use that kit. And then I saw Rachel from Gathered Plans do a plan with me. She, her and Shinny actually did a collab plan with me and Rachel used this kit. And it was so gorgeous. I love the way she used it. But um, yeah, please believe I already went through and did some rearranging with my August assortment of kits and I had a kit in there that was kind of an anytime kit I swapped it out for this one because this one is so summer and it's so perfect and I'm in love uh, but this is the no decaf kit on this page we have our full boxes I love this girl see I love the fashion girl full boxes those are always the ones that catch my eye so cute and then on this page we've got some quarter boxes, label stickers, third boxes, half boxes. Love the size variety there and the colors in this kit are just so beautiful. On this page, we've got layering icons, uh, subheaders, script headers, our sidebar stickers, including our habit trackers and build do stickers. On this page, we have the bottom washi, got deco, and then some cut washi here. She doesn't foil her kits, which is fine with me because I've used her kits before and pulling in foil, because everything else I have so much foil is is just super easy. Um, but I love the way that she designs and formats her kits. It's, it's formatted so well, you get so many great elements. On this page, we've got our day covers. These these elements here in particular i'm in love with because you've got the third box height but it's also shorter than the width of a column these boxes and these flags and so really fun to use these and pull these into a spread because it gives you a totally different look in your column because it doesn't take up the full width of it so cute tons of icons here and then some um, bow checklists as well love the way she formats her kits can't wait to use it and then this kit and i don't even know how she made the selection of the kits that she chose to pick for me but she picked so perfectly i have a vacation that's supposed to happen in october but my april vacation got covid canceled i anticipate my october vacation being covid canceled as well so i will hold on to this next year which makes me really sad i'm so looking forward to that vacation in october but that's that's just what we're living through right now so I'm letting it go. But this kit is called Aquaholic. And when I do get to take a vacation, this is my dream kit for a vacation spread. I cannot wait to use this. I love this so much and I think it's really beautifully designed. We've got our full boxes here and I love what she did with the colorway on this. And it's so funny, I feel like I was just having um, a conversation with someone about um, using a kit and doing only one color and what you have with this kit is a couple different shades of blue and then with gray added to it so beautiful and like such a calming soothing vibe to it and I feel like that always is how I always feel about blue kits but this is just so beautiful I love the rose detail added in with this spread um, the large roses in the bottom washi are just so striking and I love that the deco that she chose so pretty so fun God, I love this page. And I love the different tones that she selected and the color assortment in this kit. Oh, this, this makes me super, as, as if I wasn't sad enough that I'm not gonna get a vacation this year. This kit just makes me extra want a vacation because I want to plan with this kit. Okay, y'all, brace yourself for an unnecessarily dramatic reveal. Oh, it's my freebie. <laughs> So excited about this oh my god okay so panda bird design this shop is panda bird design and she just asked me if i wanted to um have a discount code for you guys and design a freebie and i was like uh yeah <laughs> because says she has a really fantastic deco sheet that is just like my favorite thing in her shop right now and it's got um dividers headers flourishes all in one sheet and it's so fantastic everything on there is just like my favorite thing and I particularly loved it in rose gold foil on pink paper and so as soon as she said it, I was like yes I know exactly what I would want my freebie to look like and she designed it and I was and she sent me the picture and I lost it I was like I am in love with this and so this is what the freebie looks like my code is TAY15 so you can enter that and you'll get 15% off your order she's gonna be reopening her shop at the end of July beginning of August uh, so you can expect our shop to reopen soon and on my freebie you have these awesome bow dividers this um, header which is like my 
favorite design for a header like ever i am so in love with this this one so stunning and i didn't notice it at first but it's this vine design that you see on her half scallops because when i saw it i was just like holy cow that's incredible it's so beautiful and like really um rivaling this one as a favorite right at the moment because i'm just like okay I don't know how to pick a favorite between two of those because I'm in love with both of them. Love these floral details on the side here and the flourishes, which you guys know are so me. And so you'll get it on pink with either rose gold, gold, or silver foil. So stunning. I cannot wait to start using this freebie. And I was, I've just been like so excited to share this with you guys. So I'm excited to have it. I'm excited to share it with you guys. And I, I hope that you guys like it too. And that um, if, if you do, of course, all you have to do is put my name in the notes to seller when you place your order and you will get one and you'll be like, look at how cute that sticker is. Cause it is, <laughs> I'm terribly biased, obviously. But anywho, that is our freebie and it's just, I'm in love with it. Um, I told you guys there were gonna be more date covers. Like I said, I'm stocked for the rest of the year. I, and on this one, it was so funny because I literally ordered two in gold and then one in rose gold and one in silver. And that was because I kept using gold foiled kits and I was out of date dots in gold foil. And so that was why it stuck in my head. I was just like, oh, you need to get more date dots. You need to get more date dots because I kept forgetting to order them. And then I ordered a bunch. So these are her date dots and these are squared off too. I like circle date dots, but I like squared off ones as well. I, I don't know that I necessarily have a preference there. And then I got these headers and these I'm really excited about. I love that with these headers, you get this really unique and different bow shape. I also really like the roses because we use bows all the time as planners. And I'm not knocking that because bows are just really neutral and they go with any theme they don't suggest anything specific like i feel like if you had a bunch of hearts going across the, um a, a header it would make you think like valentine's day and i think bows are really neutral and why they get used so much and even with this because i love the roses because again i feel like it's something very neutral and can go with a lot of different types of spreads because of the floral but it's different than a bow so it gives me a different option so i'm really excited about pulling these headers into some spreads if i haven't said um sh her paper is a premium matte paper super smooth great foiling love the quality of her foiling her stickers are impeccably designed I, I am a huge fan of this shop and so on this page I picked up some more of these I've ordered these before but I think I'd only got them in like light gold foil or something and definitely wanted to have them in the classic three foils again because I really love this particular bow shape and then I also love this um sampler set because you got quarter boxes third boxes and half boxes all on this page and i read pretty small and so a lot of times what i've been finding lately is i've been reaching for half boxes a little bit less and reaching more for quarter boxes and third boxes because um i don't write very big and so a lot of times what i need to write is gonna fit in either a quarter box or third box so i love having that size option and i love this because it's white it's simple i can pull it in and pair it with a lot of different spreads and it adds just something fun and unique to the spread and that always makes me happy and speaking of fun and unique i adore her scalloped half boxes because they bring a totally different shape to the page and really add a lot of visual interest and these are just my absolute favorite i love the ones with the vine detail around the scallop i just think it's so beautiful and dainty and feminine and i already had it in rose gold and light gold foil so i needed to pick it up in silver and gold foil which i did and this is the neutral colorway which is great because you get a lot of different color options options on the page she does have different color options in this so that you can get like just like all pink or um I think maybe even like marble don't quote me just check out the site there's tons of great options there this one I like in particular because it gives you a variety of different colors and then you get three of each color which I find gives you a really great assortment to work with and I uh, and and then again you've got a bunch of different colors and then you can get all the different foil colors to pull it into whatever type of spread you're doing and then this one, we've got just this classic scallop shape and then the outline of the gold around it. So fantastic. And these I love because I, it's, most people I've seen will orient them in the column either with 
um, the scallop facing up or the scallop facing down, depending on how you want to use it. You've got some really fun options. You can even do it sideways. There's just so many different ways you can work this into a spread, and that's why I love these shapes. I, there's just so fun and unique same situation here i already had silver and needed gold and rose gold and so those were the two colors that i picked up in these this shop is the giving girl and this is the freebie that came with my order and what you're getting here are these really cute little layering circles and again you have them in solid and then you have some foiled ones and so this is really fun if i can get that back on the page let's try there we go uh, these are really fun just to add a cute little layering element to your spread and then she also included this really cute Black Lives Matter decal. It's like just a really big heart and it's a sticker for sure. I love this so much and I think that Jennifer is just so amazing and has been uh, very supportive of the Black Lives Matter movement, which I really appreciate. And I think she's just such a big heart and such a kind, loving soul. And I think she's amazing. Thank you so much, Jennifer. Uh, and then this is the washi card freebie that came that comes with your order, which is fantastic. It has gold foil on it and a beautiful little dragonfly and says, The Giving Girl. I am such a big fan of her bowstrung boxes. I love this sampler that she's put together because you get the classic bowstrung box shape, this um, label bowstrung box shape, and then you get the hearts down at the bottom. And of the three different shapes, these are the two that I definitely reach for the most, but I love having the option of having the heart shape because it's so unique and so much fun. And these are something that I've used all the time in my spreads. And when I got my last order of these, I immediately, as soon as I got it in, went, went back on her website that day and placed another order uh, because I wanted to pick up some more colors to give myself some different color options. My original order was the cream colorway and then the sea salt and then I in this order I've picked up the pink and of course had to get it in all three of the classic foils so I've got uh, gold silver and rose gold foil it's on premium matte paper it's buttery smooth really easy to write on I love the just the quality of her foiling is impeccable so beautifully designed and this is the pink colorway I think I just said that this is the cement colorway and this is so stunning and she is such a sweetheart um, because she included this ash gray colorway uh, for with my order and I like holding these up because you can see a comparison between these two different shades of gray which is so fun I love the cement and I think this is going to be great for the rest of summer I mean honestly you could definitely use it going into fall but I also really love this deeper gray for going into fall because look at how beautiful that is and so super excited to have these because I feel like gray is a color that I absolutely love using and love pulling into spreads it's really neutral and I think that's going to um, complement a lot of different things and that's kind of what I was thinking of because she did have an option where you could pick up all of the different colors that she offered in these um bows but I was trying to focus on the colors that I knew I was going to use the most and then you guys she also just recently came out with some really fun different shapes for fall I placed an order so on my next haul that um uh, those bowstrung boxes with the really fun fall shapes should be in my next haul and I cannot wait for those because they're adorable this shop is Sadie Stickers and I picked up my August monthly kit uh this is the freebie that came with my order I put Nikki's name in the notes to seller Deciding what name to put in the notes to seller is always the hardest thing in the world with Sadie stickers because every single one of her uh, planner girls that have freebies all have really amazing freebies and every single one has something really cute and unique on it that's so functional and easy to pull into a spread and so I try to cycle through the different names so I can get the different freebies because each one has something fun on it. I love this. We've got some really fun layering icons, a quarter box, a half box, um, and some really cute bow dividers. So adorable. And then this kit, I am um, still fairly new to doing monthlies, but I did my first one, which was my May monthly, and had a ton of fun with it. And so I was like, okay, definitely want to continue going on with the whole monthly. So um, I picked up this August monthly from Sadie Stickers, and this is so beautiful. It's foiled in rose gold foil. Love the floral design on here and the details. These are uh, your large um, blocks 
here with the month and then you get these boxes to cover up the days that are not part of the month so any of the days that you would need to block out from july uh, you can use those um, squares there and then on this page you get some more squares in case you need to cover up some more days or you could use these just as sort of decorative elements in any of the full boxes on the page but then you also got these really great full boxes that you can write on and, and then you get quarter boxes i actually wish that at least one row of these didn't have the little bows in the sit in the center i tend to like with quarter boxes if bows are on the sides more so than in the center um actually i, I tend to like that with quarter boxes or half boxes or um and i don't know maybe that's just me um I find sometimes that when when it's in the center um, if I'm putting an icon over to the side it, it kind of throws it off for me it feels off balance in some way uh, and I'm probably being way too picky about that but these are adorable I'm going to use them for sure and I, I think it is absolutely lovely this is the decorative sidebar um, sticker and this is so fantastic because I don't really use my sidebar in my monthly spread functionally so I'm just going to put some deco in that area and I love the fact that she's got this strip that's already made and you can just decorate that side area really easily to coordinate with the rest of the kit these are the date dots of course and then on here this is so this is the alternate option if you don't want to do just sort of a decorative thing going on in your sidebar of your monthly but you do want to use it functionally you've got these um bow check boxes that you can stack in your sidebar and mark off different things like she's got headers here like um next month this month important finances goals home so you can um keep track of different things that you want to do as like a monthly overview and you've got these great check boxes to do that then we've got some washi strips and page flags those are so stinking cute um and then of course all your different scripts some icons and common things that are going to happen through the month that you want to mark like birthdays and paydays and god bless your days off Whew, I, I want a vacation so bad y'all <laughs> This shop is the Pretty Pink Co. And I have two separate orders here, which is why I have two journaling cards. Uh, and this says Dream Plan Do. And I feel like this paper is so unique. I don't even know how to describe this. It's got a really great texture to it. And it's um, not like just, um, I wouldn't say laminate. Maybe it's laminate. Maybe that's what it is that I'm feeling. But that feels incredible. So cute. Uh, and it says Dream Plan Do. And those are the journaling cards that came as freebies with my order. So nice. And then, so, okay, let's start with these ones. We've got a bunch of icons happening here. I entered Lauren's name in the notes to seller, uh, which is her PR girl. And so I got this freebie, which has a gorgeous mandala, this sort of scalloped quarter box, super cute, those corners and that cute little layering circle, as well as the hearts. And then these are the freebies that come with her order in which you get... Um, some really cute layering icons and then kiss cut icons as well so cute and i've got one in silver and rose gold loving that and then this is another freebie which has some really great functional icons i love all of her icons i think they're just so amazingly designed and these are on transparent paper which is nice because that gives me a different option um i, I tend to prefer I tend to buy a lot of um, icons that are on premium matte paper, but sometimes it's nice to have the option of a clear icon, again, because you never know how I'm going to want to use it. Uh, love the little Amazon icon because I'm doing way too much Amazon shopping lately, and the cute little makeup icon as well. So, onto the icons I picked up in this order. This book stack, <laughs> which I'm sure I had school in mind when I placed this order for these books, but that doesn't matter because I'm definitely going to still be able to use a book stack even after school is done because then I'll be reading things I actually want to read and not just my boring textbooks. So, that's actually even more exciting. <laughs> the thought of using that. Oh my god, I love these these look at how cute this is okay so this looks like um those clorox wipes containers and it just says wipes on the container and i love this because i feel like for the longest time one of the primary cleaning icons that was um out there was like that that spray bottle that was like a cleaning spray bottle and so um i feel like i've just recently started seeing people do these types of um sort of clorox wipes type cleaning containers um Crafts by Tari was the first shop that I'd seen do it. And then when I saw them on the Pretty Pink Co, I thought they were super adorable. And I and 
clearly I picked them up. Obviously, Shantae, you're holding it in your hands. But I was about to say, so I wanted to pick some up from the Pretty Pink Co., which I did, because they're here. All right. Oh, it's been a long day, you guys. Hang in there with me. I'm gonna try to be normal for the rest of this um, of this haul. I am almost through with it. Um, anyways, I also picked up these credit card icons. So cute for barking shopping. Um, I feel like a lot of my shopping icons tend to be like grocery cart shopping icons. And so this is fantastic for when I'm buying things that are not groceries related. Oh, I did get the little Amazons. Cute. <laughs> I love these. They're so perfect. Yes, I spend way too much time on Amazon. I think we all do. But these are so perfect for my Amazon orders. Love this. Oh, look, a little shopping bag and that's in black. Oh. And then I picked up a couple of icons just in black. And I, I feel like sometimes I have random thoughts in that run through my head that make sense in the moment. And then I don't think about it. And so like I'm looking at this and my first thought was, well, why'd you get the cute little shopping bag only in black and not do it in the foil colors? I'm sure I had a reason when I was placing the order, but I don't remember what that reason was, but this is actually just really brilliant. And again, I'm assuming it came down to thinking about layering it on top of like um, a cute little foil layering icon like this and having um, an icon where the foil on the layering icon will stand out more because the icon itself is not foiled. I think that was my thought process there. Who knows? Be honest. I, I don't recall at this point. This is a cute little tablet icon. Love that uh, because I'm constantly on my tablet with my life on that thing. And a cute little YouTube play button icon. Absolutely need that in my life all the time. Some Instagram icons because I'm constantly marking and doing things on YouTube and Instagram. So that just makes perfect sense in my head, which is nice because because sometimes I wonder about the decisions I make and the things that I do and how I place orders. But that made sense. So yay. <laughs> Same two freebies. Um, for this order as for the last order. So let's get into it. Look at these frames, guys. So in love with this. This is another $2 Tuesday that she was having and I saw these and immediately went crazy because I love having um, unique shaped boxes and things like that to add to my spread because it brings a totally different element to whatever you're doing in your spread and these are just so fantastic. So you've got these really cute squares that are um, oriented as diamond shaped. And so you could definitely use them as a diamond. You could use it as a square, however you wanna lay it down on the page. You have so many fun options of different ways to layer this. And I love that it's already got sort of like a, a decorative element to it with the leaf design that's already on there. So beautiful. Her rose gold foil is so pinky. I am loving this, so here for it. It's so pinky, it almost looks like pink foil, uh, but it is definitely a rose gold. So beautiful. And then these boxes, same thing. Okay, same thing. I was thinking the same thing. Just wanted to have something that was giving me a different shape and a different design. And I thought would be so fun to work into some spreads and give me some variety. And I am in love with these. Cannot wait to put them on page. And I, I think I need to go ahead and pull this gold one out right now uh, for when I get started planning because I want to use this in my spread for this week. Adore this. These are so stinking adorable. Love it. Thank you all so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed the haul and I hope you're all having an amazing day and staying safe. I'll see you next video. Bye.